guys, welcome to another Juicy Panda flow. This is flow number seven. Yay! Um, thank you guys so much for being here, but also thank you so much for being here. And if you are new to the channel, thanks for joining in. Don't forget to subscribe and hit your notification bell so you know when I'm uploading a video. But other than that, guys, let's do some standing up, breathing exercises. Um, just to just shake off our bodies of the day and just to like almost like rejuvenate everything. So slight little workout, a little squatting, but mostly reaching up to the sky because we're trying to reach our full potential in life. You know, who doesn't want to reach their full potential? So you know the drill. Go get some water, go to the bathroom, do what you need to do. But if you're ready, I'll meet you on the mat. Let's go. So we're gonna get on the mat. First, just shake it out. Shake everything out from your legs to your body. Just shake it all out. Oof. Okay. All right. So we're gonna breathe in. We're gonna exhale so hard, like, like it's almost like if you were mad at someone. Okay. So after we shake it out, breathe in. <sighs> Just do that. Okay, we're gonna do that three times. All right, so breathe and shake. with that all right so we're gonna have our feet width apart and when I mean like hip width apart like if your hips if your hips are wide you get a little wider you know just try to have it kind of like equal like but like a balance you know try to really just stand up straight really so you're gonna put your hands to the side and we're gonna stay very still in this standing pose right now and we're gonna take nice deep breaths in so we're gonna do the inhale five Hold for four, exhale six, okay? So put your hands to your side, close your eyes. Take a second before we start our breathing to just exist in the standing position. Think about the last time you were just standing, just because, not because you were talking to someone, not because you were waiting for something, but you were just standing. Make sure your feet are nice and like grounded and rooted into the ground. Spread your toes to help you have balance. Go ahead and pull your shoulders back. Make sure your shoulders aren't uh, pulled forward. Try to really pull your shoulders back. Chest open, hands to the side, and we're gonna breathe into five. do that one more time another set of three so close your eyes breathe in Next is 
I'm going to take her hands and we're going to intertwine them behind her back. So, I'm going to take her hands and we're going to pump them in like this, okay? Pump them in like this and pull back. You see how my chest is sticking out forward? I'm so big on opening the chest. Honestly, like, fun fact, like, it wasn't until, like, maybe two years ago, I started, like, popping this bone in my chest. Not saying it's a good thing, but every time I would stretch like that or stretch out, there's this bone that would pop. And I'm like, dang, it just, you know, I guess it just started when I was getting older, but um, I'm totally, I totally love opening up the chest. Just to, like, put some, if you put emphasis here and you're, you're focusing your breath through your chest, you're helping your heart flow, everything's going through here. And especially if you're very anxious or have a lot of anxiety, a lot of that stems from like your chest, like getting chest pains, your heart tenses up, um, also your head too, but it's always good to just open your chest, breathe through your chest, give your chest some oxygen that wasn't just the consistent oxygen that it gets, you know? It's also about just taking extra care of yourself, you know? Treating yourself a little bit. So if you're trying your hands, Pull your chest out. All right, and we are gonna um, slightly bend over, not all the way over, so your feet are still width apart, fingers are locked, and go ahead and bend your knees a little bit. We're gonna come forward. Bend, 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 kind of like here. And try to stick your arms all the way up. If you can't, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. Can't bend over, do not force yourself. Trust you in what your body can do, don't overdo it. If you need to just stand like this, just stand like this. All right, so we're gonna breathe into five. Again, I'm sorry, it's not that fast. I'm going to do one for people that are standing up. Now we're going to go ahead and do a forward fold. So unlock your hands, reach all the way up, 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 up. Reach all the way up, 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 up. Good. Let's just reach all the way up and now slightly bend your knees and come all the way forward. Down, 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 down. Okay, so now we're here on the ground. It's okay if your hands are touching the ground, touching your shins. Even if you're doing this, get low. But the purpose of this getting low is so we can release this lower back tension. Okay? Um, a lot of people have been coming to me telling me that their lower back hurts. And some of them can't even do this. So so I know if you are having lower back issues and you can't do this, get on the floor. You gotta get on the floor and stretch that way. This hurts too much, stretch this way. So now we're, we're down and forward fold, okay? We're gonna take our elbows, hold our elbows, and we're gonna breathe here, okay? But when you're here, your, your legs are pretty much what's holding you together. You got your arms here that's pulling down from your shoulders and that's opening space for this. Okay? So we're gonna breathe in. And again. And one last time. Yeah, it's like
my hat. I got my hair done. <laughs> okay. So next we're going to do a downward dog. Let me pop my toes. So for the downward dog, we're gonna go down. We're gonna step back. Alright. So the downward dog basically is really stretching your shoulder blades and your legs. And perk and when you perk up your um, your bottom, it's stretching your thighs, your calf muscles, and then your arms and your shoulder blades. So our downward dog, we're just gonna bend our knees slightly. And we're gonna breathe here, okay? So you're gonna breathe into five. And again. One more time. Downward dog, go ahead and lift your right leg up. Okay? It's up. I'm playing with it. Sometimes I like to do like this so I can open up my hips, but do what you can. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna fold our knee and bring it into our chest. Like this. And back up. to a plank, give ourselves a rest, come back down, lie on the ground here, and then push up. Come back down. All right, now we're gonna go back to downward dog. And we're gonna lift our left leg up. All right, cuff it into the chest. Back out, go back in, back out, all right, back to downward dog, flat, down, all right guys, can I help you? He says, mommy, I want to play. Just want to play with you. All right, so I don't know why I keep putting my head back on. I'm gonna avoid and take my hair out. All right, so let's get on our knees. Can I help you? We just really did this with our arms. So go ahead and do some circles with your elbows. All right. Left leg out, 90 degree angle. Go ahead and pull in between the Excuse me, not it. All right, and then pull your leg in, back to me. So knees apart, toes touching, and then go all the way out. Head to the mat, head to the ground. And go ahead and take your own little deep breaths here.
right, make work on your last deep breath. Make sure it's really good. All right, go back up. All right, now we're gonna get back up. Spread our legs out. We are going to take our left leg here, turn it out. All right leg is, is um, your toes are facing the front way. See I'm turned out. And we are going to bend down and get into our warrior pose. All right, so slightly keep your, keep your, keep your um, hips pointed this way. We're gonna reach all the way up. We're gonna go middle pose. Back. Bring it in. This is what this one's like my favorite one because I love the side stretching. <laughs> Back. All right. Pivot to the front. Pull your feet in. Fall into the middle. Go ahead and parade to each side. Hello, everyone. All right. Switch, pivot in. All right, and we're gonna switch, we're gonna switch sides. So back out, your right foot, toes face this way, left feet facing forward, hips squared. All right, and we're gonna dip into another warrior. Reach up. to stretch my uh, legs, but grab something if you can. If you don't have anything, it's okay. Um, we're only grabbing it so we can have kind of like a resistance. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a nice side stretch standing up. So I'm only facing this way so you can see my back, okay? So we are gonna be kind of whips apart. And if you don't have the scarf, it's kind of just like you doing this. Okay. You can fish your hands if you need to. So the scarf. So we're going to reach all the way up, 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 up. And we are going to tilt to our right side. And when we tilt, we're going to just take our arms down. Don't move your, don't move your stomach, but really move your arms. So it's all in this arm because it's going this way all the gravity's about to hit this side it's going to open up this chest so go back to open it up turn to the right side back to center feel free to bend your knees we're going to do the right side Alright, 
let your arms go. Whew. All right. So that is what I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for joining and onto another Juicy Panda Yoga Flow series number seven. Um, like I said, thank you guys so much and thank yourself for being here as well because it's you the person who are clicking on this video and making a change in your life, okay? We are both challenging ourselves. So don't forget to share this video with any friends or family who needs to get up and stretch and start feeling alive within their body. Um, do not forget to subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys for being here and uh, turn your notifications on so it can let you know when I'm dropping a video. But other than that, guys, go follow my new Juicy Panda Instagram. It's the Juicy Panda. Um, there'll be an ink card at the end of the video you guys can see, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helped you make, made you feel good and I will see you guys at the next video. Oh wait, I forgot. Keep it juicy, keep it peachy, and I will see you at the next video. Good job!